Hi, I'm Miracle. Let's dig deeper into space. So who wants to join me on a trip to Mars? It's not as far-fetched as you might think. Pretty soon, humans are going to travel to the red planet, and not just astronauts, even regular people like you and me. Mars is closer to Earth than most of the other planets in our solar system, and that's a big reason why we're checking it out. But that's not the only reason. Some planets have no chance at all of people being able to live on them. Like this planet, Venus. Its surface is about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Good news, Mars isn't gonna burn you up like Venus. But that doesn't mean you can just go for a walk like you can on Earth. Let's take a closer look at how Mars and Earth are similar and different. Of course, both Mars and Earth orbit the same sun. Mars also has a solid surface like Earth, and it's about half its size. It has ice in its north and south poles, not to mention ancient volcanoes and windstorms. It even has seasons. You might be wondering, how do we know so much about Mars if we haven't been there? You can thank telescopes, satellites, and a rover for that. And no, I'm not talking about the dog. Rovers are machines that scientists have sent to land on Mars. They send us pictures and info back. Mars is starting to sound pretty homey, isn't it? I mean, it even has lower gravity, which means you can jump a lot higher. But there's barely any oxygen in the atmosphere. So what are people going to do once they get there? Well, the first lucky bunch to arrive will have to set up their new home away from home. That's called a colony. People used to make all sorts of movies about strange aliens living on Mars, but the first real Martians will probably be human. Do you think you'll go there someday? If you do, maybe I'll see you there. And remember, if you want to learn more, you can always dig deeper.